Hello and welcome to this spot training, supporting Linux users with great Synology apps. Today's speaker is me, Fredrik Gillinger, and I work as business development analyst at Synology Nordic, based out of Stockholm in Sweden. We're going to talk about the desktops apps, back up and collaborate with your Linux computer at ease. If you look at Linux, it's for many people chosen as the alternative to Mac OS and Windows OS. In statistics, over 500 of the world's top supercomputers are run by Linux. 54% of software developers work with Linux, and 83% of developers prefer Linux instead of the other operating systems. There are currently over 600 Linux distributions out there, and most of them are for free. So a lot of people are looking at it and start using it. So how can we at Synology support the Linux ecosystem? Well, we have the Linux desktops apps, and we also have the possibility to work directly to the NAS or through the web browser in order to collaborate and save and back up. We have currently 18 apps that are compatible with Linux. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the best of the apps, Synology Drive Client. Basically what you do is set up your own private cloud. If you look at it, it's the possibility to use your NAS as your own private cloud, similar to Dropbox or Google Drive. You can sync your files from laptop, desktop, and even mobile phone. You can back up and sync another Synology NAS if you, you need that. You can share and collaborate with others seamless. You can keep multiple versions to be able to go back and retrieve lost files. And you can connect your files to the web or direct through apps. The ecosystem Synology Drive is that you have it installed on your Synology NAS, and then you have the Drive Client, you have the Drive Admin Console, and the Drive Share Sync if you want to share sync another Synology NAS. If you want to connect to it outside the <coughs> local area network, you sync over the internet, either through web browser, or you use the Drive Client on your computer, or the Drive App, or the Drive Share Sync. We have a little demonstration here. We're gonna show you how to remote access without need for port forwarding. Basically, a lot of people think it's hard to set up that. So we've worked out the solution with that. We're using a quick connect ID. And then we're gonna show you how to set up Drive Client on your Linux computer and use it. And then how to sync files from your Linux PS2 Synology's NAS and vice versa. So here we have the <coughs> Linux computer. And what I want to do now is connect to our NAS, just to show you how easy it is. I'm going to use the web browser, and then I'm going to use the Quick Connect 2 address. I have named my Synology NAS, and I will use that name to connect to it. So what I do now is basically I open the Firefox web browser, and then I go to Synology Quick Connect, the address, and then I type in my ID, which I've given my NAS. It's that simple. Now it's gonna connect. And now it wants me to log in using my credentials. And I haven't done anything with the router or anything like that. So now I'm connected, I'm logged in in my NAS and ready to work. So this is how easy it is. If you wanna set up the client and how to connect to it, it takes less than 60 seconds. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start our Synology Drive client on our Linux computer. We're gonna <coughs> connect to a NAS and we're gonna choose a folder on the NAS that we wanna sync. And we're gonna choose a folder on our Linux computer that we wanna sync. So what we do basically, I'm gonna start the Drive client and now it's it's the first time, so it wants me to connect to a NAS. And I have the NAS, so I'm gonna use my quick connect ID. And then I'm gonna log in with my credentials. And this is the first time I'm setting it up, so I'm gonna choose sync task, not security backup task, because I wanna sync when I work in real time. And I click next, and I'm choosing the folder on the NAS that I want to use, and I've chosen a Linux document folder. And then I'm going to go into my computer, and I'm going to choose the document folder. I will not create an empty Synology drive map this time. So this is how easy it is. Now I've created two folders that I want them to have a sync two ways. 
and we're done. So if you look now, there's nothing that has happened because the folders are empty. As you can see, nothing whatsoever. Now, if I want to sync files, I'll simply drag and <coughs> drop them to the folders, either on the NAS or on the Linux computer, just to show you that it syncs in real time to make it very, very secure. So right now we're on our computer, our Linux computer, and I'm going to take some documents or movies and move to the syncing folder. So I'll take a couple of movies and a couple of pictures some mp3s and I paste it in if you look down now in the right corner it starts syncing in real time so here you can see what's happened it's synced to the NAS I'm gonna go into the NAS and see if it works so I'm closing that one I'm gonna open the web browser and we're right in the NAS now so I'm gonna check the Linux document folder and you can see that it's updated and synced Very easy, very secure. Nobody else can see but you. So let's open up the folder and empty the document folder just to show you how quick it syncs. So I move this and it starts working again. So I open up and I'm gonna update and there you see it's empty. So in real time, you will sync your files and in real time, it will reflect that to the NAS or vice versa. Now, if I want to <coughs> set some sync rules in terms of what do I want to sync, how large files do I want to sync, that helps me control the data that is synced by employees or family or myself. So what I want to show you is basically how I can set the size or the file and uh, uh, what kind of files I want to sync. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in real life and how to change the rules so it reflects on the syncing process. So here we have the Linux computer. And I'm going to open up the client. And I'm going <coughs> to go into this uh, area here where I have different rules I can do. And today I want to go with the, uh, with the synchronized folder and I'm going to go with the synchronized rules. So right now I'm in the document folder and I'm going to set the size. So I want small size because I don't have that much space. So I say, let's say 12 megabytes. Uh, these are the files that I don't want to sync. So now I've chosen that and I'm going to go and take a couple of files that are extremely big compared to what my rules are so I'm going to open up the NAS so now I'm in the Synology NAS and I'm going to take a couple of files and we have from 175 megabytes down to 10.3 we have some PDFs that I don't want to sync I'm just going to copy them and I'm going to put them in the Linux document which is my sync folder and I paste them and now it starts working And I'm going to see if you look at the icon, you see what is synced. So I'm going to look directly in the folder on the computer. So I'm minimizing that and let's open up the folder. And this is what has been synced because I have set the rules. So there are only four documents that are synced. But now I want to change the rules again. I want some PDFs and I want some larger files. So how do I do that? Well, I go back to the client. And then I go to the uh, synchronizing rules and then I change. Okay, I want 200 megabytes. And I want PDFs. So I'm going to remove that from the list and then I'm going to click apply and it's going to start working directly in real time because that's how it's set up. So look here, you can see it, how it's syncing live already. So we have the PDF, we have the large files. It's that easy and it works like a charm. So now you've seen the synchronized rules.
and how to change them. Really, really easy, really, really good to do. Now I'm gonna show you our collaboration tools uh, that you can work with in Drive. We can collaborate with real-time editing, you can manage and organize with labels, and you can share easily and securely. So we have a Linux computer here. Uh, I'm gonna show you what app you need to install. So I'm gonna connect with Quick Connect ID to our NAS. And as you can see how easy it is, I'm just gonna use my login credentials. This time we have a Linux user. And if you wanna work with Linux and our Office Suite, you need to download the Office Suite from the Package Center. So I'm just gonna search for it. I've already installed it, but this is one thing you want to have. It's compatible with Drive, and we're gonna open up the Drive client for the web browser. And right now we're in our Drive folder with the collaboration folder. And here I can use, similar to Google Docs, I can create files in different variations, in Word, in PowerPoint, or in Excel. So what I do, I create a folder, and that this is something we all can work within if we have the possibility and the rules are set so in real time. And it saves automatically. And when I open it, it will stay as we was when we worked with it last time. I can also download it as a Microsoft Word document or PDF if I want to share it that way. If you look at this, if I open up a Microsoft PowerPoint, I can only uh, look at it. If I want to work with it, I have to open up the Synology Office and in import it. So let's do that. So we're importing it to the Synology Office and now I can start working with it. So here we have the PT and I can change and do the changes that I need and I can save it and I can also <coughs> download it as a PowerPoint or PDF when done. I can use version history, I can save as template, I can do a cryptid file and it's really, really easy. If I want to create an encrypted file, I just click on create and then I choose a password. This makes it really, really secure when working with other people. If you have the password, you can connect to the document. If you don't, you can't. So let's create a budget file. So let's do budget. January, let's do February and March. And let's change. Oh, sorry. So January was quite good, let's say 1500, February not so good, March really good. And it's saving in real time and we're gonna change the name. So now we have a budget folder that we will work with. And if I close it down, it's gonna be there with a padlock on. So it shows you that it's encrypted. So if I wanna access it, I have to use my password. Really, really secure. I can also upload files. So if I want to upload different documents, there's no problem with that. So let's upload, uh, upload a PDF. And I can <coughs> watch it easily from my drive folder. So there you have it, really, really, really good. However, if I have a lot of files, soon it will be hard to have focus on them. So I can also apply them labels. I'm gonna show you how to apply them labels so it's easy to sort out. So we're in our drive <coughs> folder from the web and I wanna start creating labels. So I just click on the label and I create. Let's call this important. And the important is always red. So let's change it red. So now you can see on the right, it's labeled as important. And then I can do different labels. So let's do one uh, follow up. 
So if I have a lot of files I need to follow up, I can click that and create it. And on the left, you can see that the folders are, are showing up and the labels are showing up. And this makes it re really, really easy for me. If I click important, it will show which, which files are important. If I click follow up, it shows which files are important. So this is how easy it is to, to label the, the files and, and be able to use them in the, in the future and not lose track of them. If I want to share with other people, there are two different ways of sharing. There are sharing locally with Synology NAS uh, accounts or public accounts. And I'm going to show you uh, both of them. So if we look at uh, our drive folder here and we're going to sh take some files that we want to share, I'm going to choose to share and I'm going to choose Synology NAS users. So let's have Chatman. And he is allowed to edit. And I'm just going to add him, and that's it. So he can see this document, he can use it, he can edit. So you see there, there is a share icon. And it's share with others, so I can all sort them up really easy. Then I can share a, a public link. So basically, I choose share and I choose public link. And I will create this link, and I will have a password so not everybody can get it and i'm going to choose a couple of dates that they can use so there we have the link and i'll save it and it's the same thing you see the sharing icon and this is how easy it is to share Now I want to show you how the link actually works when you share it public. So I'm in the folder. I'm going to open up. I'm going to share a link. Let's share project B. So I'm going to share. I'm going to do a public link. I will create the link and I will have a password for it because I don't want anyone to see it. Uh, I will make it valid for four days. And there you have the link. I will copy the link just to show you and I will save. So now it's shared and if I get this link and I have the password, I can go into a web browser to open up a web browser here on my Linux computer and then I just paste the link and this is how it happens. I don't need any login credentials. It will connect to my NAS to this particular document. It will ask for a password. I will type in the password and then I can start working with the document. Really, really easy, really, really nice. There you have it. So this is sharing and collaborate in real time. It can be multiple users working with the document, no problem. It will automatically save, and then you can download it the way you like. So with this, Drive app, we can help you with the on-print cloud in our NAS with productivity and it's license free, meaning it doesn't cost anything. So let's hope you try and use it. Thank you very, very much.